cloudy skies overhead uh, over Denver, and it looks like we are going to be in the clear once we pass the next 45 minutes or so. We'll be in the 80s for the rest of the Avs game and then into the 70s once we pass 9 o'clock. It'll be a nice, mild evening, but yes, we have a lot of moisture moving across the state coming up from the south. This is monsoon moisture, and that means it's coming from the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico. Usually it happens a couple weeks from now, but it's starting a little early. So we have some rain here over Denver and to the northeast of the metro area, but I wanted to zoom in here on the Denver metro because we had one storm cell that was right over a ball arena in the Tivoli Quad that has now pushed off to the north and is into the Thornton region. And we do have a little bit of rain down toward Lake Wood. We're keeping an eye on that, but we may see just a few scattered showers here as we go through the next hour or so, and then we're looking good for the rest of the night. Some rain off to the west from Grand Junction to Montrose and a flash flood watch until 10 o'clock tonight uh, up into the mountains for burn scar areas and possibly some flooding. So after the next hour or so, as I mentioned, looks pretty good for the rest of the night. We'll still see rain off to the west, but we're looking good for our abs fans that are outside. So 65 will be our overnight low temperatures in the 60s and 70s here by morning. Our Father's Day forecast looks great. 75 at 9 a.m., 90 by 7 p.m. with a few scattered thunderstorms. Our high 90 degrees will have upper 90s for the plains. And on our Super 7 day forecast, we'll have 90 tomorrow, 89 on Monday, and then those 80s sticking around through the rest of the week with 93 Friday afternoon. And we'll be right back.